Welcome to Hands-On Equations Level 1. Would you believe me if I told you that in about a week I could have you solving equations for x like this? Would you believe me that I could have you in, oh I don't know, less than 10 minutes doing algebra? And would you believe me if I told you you could do all of that with a smile on your face? It is true. And it is true with the help of these guys and hands-on equations. We're going to use a the hands-on equations mat that looks like this and these materials to learn how to do algebra. A few things you need to know first. In this particular balance, the two sides are always equal. We've used some balances in class that can tip to show greater than or less than, but in this particular balance, this side is always equal to this side, and you can use the middle to think about the equal sign. Next thing you need to know is that this is called a pawn. These are called pawns, and these stand for our unknown amounts. We've already seen, probably, the video about variables, and so this is representing a variable. For right now, we're only going to use the blue pawns. Also, these are number cubes, and you'll notice that the number, there's a low number cube that goes 0 through 6, or 0 through 5, sorry, and then there's a high number cube that goes 6 through 10, and you should have at least two of the low ones and two of the high ones. And for right now, we're only going to use the red. I would thank you in advance for leaving the white pawns and the green number cubes in your bag. So let's go ahead and start. Let's set up an equation our, on our equation mat. I'm going to put one blue pawn on the left-hand side, and I'm going to put one five on the right-hand side. You are always going to set up your mat so that the number that we are using on the number cube is facing up, straight up, so that you are looking at it. That lets you and me both see what, what exactly what number you've put on your balance. So if I have set up this equation here, this says that the pawn equals 5. We can immediately see, because we know that this is a balanced scale, that this pawn is worth 5. That was an easy one. Now let's clear our balance and try another one. This time I'm going to put two pawns on the left-hand side, and I'm going to put an 8 over here. Um, I can now try to figure out what is one pawn worth. Well, if I know that these pawns are worth the exact same amount, this one is worth this one in this case. It's not worth what it was before. It changes every time we do a new equation. But the only thing that I can add to itself, something plus that same thing again to get 8, is 4. 4 plus 4 equals 8. So in this case, the pawn is worth 4. Let's do an even harder example and demonstrate how we're going to use guess and check to solve what the pawn is worth. This time I'm going to put two pawns and a 2 on the left hand side. On the right hand side I'm going to put an 8 and a pawn. And at first we're just going to use guess and check to see if we can figure out what it is. It makes sense every single time to start as low as we possibly can and then work our way up as we find out that the low numbers don't work. So let's see if the pawn could be worth 1. This, And I'm going to sort of add on or count as I go. This is 1 plus 1 would be 2 plus 2 would be 4. So if the pawn was worth 1, this side is worth 4. Over here, if this is worth, this is 8 plus one more would be nine. Since four does not equal nine, the pawn can't equal one. So now I'm gonna try two. Two, four, six on that side, if each were worth two. Over here, eight plus two makes 10, they're not equal. Now I'm gonna try three. Three, six, seven, eight. Well, that's not gonna work because that's eight plus three more. Let's try four. Four, eight, 10. Over here, 8 plus 4 equals 12. That 10 does not equal 12. Let's try 5. This would be 10 plus 2 more is 12. 8 plus 5 is 13. Oh, we're getting close, but that doesn't work. Let's try 6. 6, 12, 14. So this side equals 14. 8 plus 6 equals 14. 14 equals 14. That tells me that each pawn is worth 6. We found it using guess and check. When we would write our answer, we would say this. The pawn, we're now going to call x, or the variable x. 
the x equal equaled 6 and we would do it by checking it by saying what the this whole side of the equation is worth and this whole side of the equation is worth so again I did 6 12 um, 14 yeah 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 2 more is 14 over here 8 plus 6 is 14 so I wrote 14 equals 14 and since that's true I put a small little check so you have to do this for every single answer in a few minutes you're or very soon you're gonna start by doing the very first lesson on the hands-on equation sheet and you will see here that you'll be given a problem you're gonna set this problem up on your mat and then you'll have to figure out what x is equal and check it on this line so let's do two problems together and then you'll be ready to go doing some algebra today awesome for the first one if you were given this problem on your worksheet you would set up three pawns on the left and a nine on the right and then you would try to figure out using guess and check what the pawn would equal so one plus one plus one that would be three that doesn't equal nine two if i tried two two four six no that's too small let's try three three six nine oh that's it the pawn must equal three and then i check it by saying what this side is worth and what this side is worth three six nine this side is e worth nine and then i put an equals and a check because it worked one last um, example problem each time be sure to clear your mat before you start i'm going to put on a pawn and a six and then i'm going to put on two pawns and a four so now i'm going to try let's start easy let's start with one one plus six would be seven one plus one is two plus four is six one doesn't work let's try two two plus six is eight two four plus four is eight ah x equals two the pawn equals two so then i go back to the beginning and i check it if this was two two plus six is eight two plus two is four plus four is eight that worked i can check it all right you have everything you need to know to go ahead and begin with lesson one. Good luck. Have fun with algebra.